Then on Sports Century, we go for a college football game preview and prediction on the national championship matchup between the Michigan Wolverines and the Washington Huskies. An incredible season for both teams, and it all comes down to this. Michigan, 14-0 this team. Lost in the college football playoff the past two seasons. There were questions as to whether or not this team could win in the college football playoff, but this season is different for Michigan. They just beat Bam in the Rose Bowl. This is an experienced and brutal team that no one's been able to beat. They're taking on Washington, also 14-0. The Huskies are different than Michigan, though. This team hasn't been quite as dominant this season, but they've always found a way. This has been the dark horse this season. That's always been looming in the background, and they've been an underdog for the majority of the season. That is something that this team thrives on. So this is bound to be an incredible matchup, all for the national title. We'll be going for a full game preview and prediction on this matchup here today. Let's get started with their team trends. Michigan beat Alabama 27-20 in the Rose Bowl, took it to overtime. It just seemed like Alabama was going to win that game in the second half. Just the way that things were looking. Michigan couldn't get anything going on offense. But then they have that huge drive late. They go down, tie it, send it to overtime, win it in overtime. Just an insane finish and uh, just an incredible win for Michigan as well. But really, I mean, both games just had insane finishes. You think about Washington and Texas. Huskies won it 37-31, but in the third quarter... It honestly seemed like Washington was going to pull away and win the game by two or three touchdowns, but then Texas comes back in the fourth quarter. They are suddenly at the 20-yard line, one second left. They can just win the game right then and there. And for Washington to make a play defensively and find a way to win, it really goes to show how the Huskies have been this season. They haven't been very dominant, but they've found a way in every single game this season, whether that's by the offense, the defense, whatever. And the Huskies are 14-0 because of it. They've also won 21 straight games dating back to last season. Games beyond Monday, January 8th in Houston, Texas. Kickoff is 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Spread's going Michigan by 4.5. That is your opening spread there, so that could shift over the course of the week. But it does make sense to see Michigan uh, the favorite in this match. I mean, that leaves Washington as an underdog once again. That's been a very dangerous thing this season, the Huskies as an underdog. That's really when this team plays at their best. Over under 55 and a half, FBI is going Michigan 74%, which is definitely aggressive. I think Michigan should be the favorite in this matchup, but it should be a lot closer than that. Your serious history, Michigan leads at 8-5. to five. We actually saw these two teams play each other in the big ass back in 2021. Michigan won at 31-10. to 10. And something interesting as well, we're actually seeing these two teams play each other this upcoming fall in Seattle because Washington, of course, off to the Big Ten. Uh, so both teams will be playing each other. Decent amount in the near future. Your stat comparison, Michigan is 12th in points per game, first in points allowed. Defensively, uh, the defense is really where Michigan shines. They're first in points allowed this season, second-ranked pass defense in the country, seventh-ranked rush defense in the country, and really, Michigan is definitely the more balanced team in this matchup. They're a really strong team on defense, but also on offense. You got J.J. McCarthy, who's got experience. Blake Corum, who came back this season, he's... Rush for 25 touchdowns this season, over 1,100 yards. This backfield has been incredible. Receiving core is strong, and J.J. McCarthy, I mean, this is a balanced team, and I mean, it's no surprise seeing them in the position that they are in now. But for Washington, where they do have their edges in the passing game, you got Michael Penix, who's been nothing short of incredible this season. 4,600 passing yards, 35 touchdowns, nine picks, and obviously with the best receiving core in the country. You got Odunze, you got Jalen Polk, Jalen McMillan, these three receivers, Odunze, Polk, and McMillan, you'll be seeing as, especially Odunze, you'll be seeing these guys as star receivers in the NFL probably in the near future. That's just how good they are. And so for Michael Penix to be able to work with them has been a huge part of Washington's success this season. Only problem is the Huskies aren't very balanced as they are not a very strong team on defense. They always find a way with their offense. It's just been the defense that hasn't been as reliable this season. Uh, they're 121st in pass defense, 41st in rush defense. Uh, points allowed 49th, which isn't terrible, but obviously the amount of pass yards they've allowed this season is uh, definitely something that stands out a bit. And they're also not a very strong team in the rushing game. you got Dylan Johnson, who's actually been really good this season, 1,100 yards, 16 touchdowns, but obviously he is questionable for this match. We'll see if he can play or not. That's really a big factor for this offense is having him as – I mean, he's really what completes this offense. I mean, Washington is such a strong team in the passing game with these receivers and everything. And uh, Dylan Johnson on top of it has just been perfect in completing this offense. But your significant wins, the highlights of the season for both teams, Michigan. Be Michigan State 49-0 going on the road 
Obviously, Michigan State was terrible this season, but to beat a rival in the way that Michigan did there, 49 to nothing, that's obviously where things started to turn as well, heading into November, which was uh, far and away the toughest month of the season for Michigan. Really, the first half of the season wasn't that difficult, but then things picked up in November with Penn State, Ohio State beating both of them. Uh, beat Iowa in the Big Ten title game, 26 to nothing, and then that set up obviously the Rose Bowl win over Alabama, 27 to 20. As for Washington, I'd really say it started in mid-October, where they beat Oregon and Seattle, 36 to 33, and really after that, that's kind of where the season turned a bit. They had a close game to Arizona State, close game to Stanford as well, still found a way in both. It really seemed like they were going to take their first loss in November, though, with that USC game on the road, with the Trojans still ranked, or even the Oregon State game. Oregon State was red hot heading into that matchup in Corvallis, and uh, for Washington to still find a way in each of those games, it really goes to show what this team is. They aren't dominant, but they always find a way to win games, and I mean, you think of the Utah game even. They won it by a touchdown, the Washington State game to finish out the regular season, beat them by three. And then they were underdog. They were like, what, a 10-point underdog in that Pac-12 title game against Oregon. And they still won that game as well, 34-31. to And then obviously the Sugar Bowl beat Texas 37-31. to And here we are with both teams still undefeated. Key points, Michigan 14-0. Wolverines face adversity better than all. I feel like it's a given to say that at this current point with where Michigan has been this season with the Jim Harbaugh situation. November was a tough month for this team. It really would have made sense if this team lost to Penn State or Ohio State, which obviously late November was the most crucial part of this season for Michigan getting to this point. So, I mean, but this team still found a way in each of those matchups when uh, this team was even doubted at times. And, I mean, you look at this offense, J.J. McCarthy, Blake Corum, this is a stacked offense, but it's really where the defense is. I mean, the defense is where this team shines most, and it's been that way this season. And, this is a really balanced team, which Washington is a strong team on offense, definitely a stronger team in the passing game and the receiving core, but they're not quite as balanced of a team as Michigan is. I mean, you look at the defense for Washington, their defense is a bit vulnerable, but in the end, you can't say it's been a big issue for Washington because the Huskies are undefeated getting to this point. So, but the thing is for Washington as well, this team is known as a dark horse. They're an underdog. They've been doubted so many times this season. What's the main constant for Washington when they've been doubted? They've always found ways to win. And that's something that if you're a Michigan fan, I feel like that's what scares you most. I mean, Washington is maybe not quite as good of a team as Michigan, but it's just the fact that they always find a way. And they're an experienced team that I would say is more dangerous. You got Michigan, who's a more physical team. Uh, there's really no debate there. But Washington is a more dangerous team with the receiving core. I mean, in just a matter of a couple of moments, Washington can launch a pass 50 yards down the field to Odunze and suddenly the game is completely flipped around. That's just the way that Washington plays. And when you got as good of a receiving core as Washington does and as accurate of a quarterback as Michael Penix is, that's a really dangerous thing. But in the end, it's really a game that could go either way. This is bound to be an incredible matchup. So with that, let's get the prediction here from Michigan and Washington. Coming up here for the national championship, in the end, I'm going with the underdog. Washington wins it 30-27. to Huskies find a way one more time, and this time for a national championship. And for the Huskies, I mean, you consider this team in general. They're not quite as balanced of a team. They're not quite as complete of a team as Michigan is. It's the receiving core, and it's Michael Penix. And the way this team has played down the stretch in this season to the point where I just feel like Washington is going to win this game. And, I mean, you consider where this team has been this season, the amount of times this team has been doubted. And they've been an underdog. And every single time, there's one consistent thing. They have found a way to prove everybody wrong. And I think they do it one more time, this time, for a national championship. So I'm going to say 51% towards the Huskies. Once again, really as close as it gets. And I'm taking the over as well, Washington, to cover the spread. But this is honestly bound to be an incredible matchup. I think it's going to be really close. And once again, really could go either way. But with that, let me know your thoughts and comments below on the national championship, your score predictions, all of that. My name is Evan. This is All Sports Central. Stay tuned for more. We'll catch you on the next one.